in the time trial in Beijing when it was an LC4 classification. He was a silver medalist and uh, in London 2012 C1 category, he came fifth. 52 years of age. So he's been time trialling for a long time. Really his pet events on the track is the individual pursuit, being the world champion back in 2011, and also a silver medalist in Athens and a bronze medalist in Beijing, as you mentioned. But he's going to give all he's got here. Time to beat after 125 is 3.38. But as we've seen already at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games, Juan Jose really starts to ramp it up. Well, he does indeed. Often it is difficult to get a good start in these events, coordinating the timing of the gate. And uh, look at him crank it now, Mendes Fernandez, trying to gain speed. He is a little off the pace, but don't forget he will have a factored time as he is a C1 rider. Yes, indeed, there will be uh, quite a chunk taken off his time as a result in that factored time. So it's not as wide a margin as you would think although it is starting to blow out here at 8.1 seconds off the time to beat which is 59.084 so let's see it does look as though mendez fernandez is a little fatigued it is a very busy schedule here at the rio games and he's grimacing there the deficit has blown out to 10 seconds as he rounds into the final straight. The time to look for, 112.583. So let's get that factored time. It's 122.236. So that uh, puts Juan Jose Mendez Fernandez in fourth position at this stage. The current leader, Chris Bosmans of Belgium, a factored time.